Hey there, welcome to Main Street Living. I'm Cheryl Nelson. And I'm Quincy Carr. <laughs> and I'm Danielle Alvari. How are you guys? Back again. And this yeah. time uh, in color coordination. Yeah, look at that. Hold I know up, I missed it. Cheryl. Cheryl, duck. I got to give her a high five. Duck. Let's see. Which way is it? It's, yeah. it's this way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Color coordination. You guys got it. Yeah, look, I'm just happy I have power. It's a lot of wind and rain that's happening right that's now. Right. So, uh, we yeah, almost didn't have Quincy today. Yeah. I know. I'm glad that you're here, Quincy, because uh, this is that, a virtual that version. Was bad. It would have been the girls' show, though. I mean, Danielle and I, we could carry it. <laughs> yeah, the ladies yeah. held it down, but it yeah. wouldn't have been the same hey, without you. So get this, uh, during the pandemic, I know a lot of people are staying home, not a lot of people are traveling, but sometimes sure. duty calls and I had some business and I actually had to fly from Newport News, Williamsburg in Virginia to Atlanta. And I actually shot some behind the scenes video to show you what flying during a pandemic is like. Take yeah. a look at this. So I'm in the security line right now at the airport and it's really eerie, it's super quiet where I normally get food closed. So I guess I'm not gonna be getting any lunch. Hopefully you can hear me over this mask, but wow. Yeah, I mean, I know they said that airports were eerie and quiet, but being here and experiencing it is an all new thing. At this time, if you see the rules 11 through 17, you all will board at B6, 11 through 17. Car weather down Atlanta. Light winds out of the southwest. Good visibility. A few scattered clouds. Temperature 72 degrees. Walk one more. Well, I'm on the plane now, and thankfully I fly a lot, so I got upgraded to first class, and I'm the only one in here in first class anyway. And I think there might be about seven, maybe eight people on this flight. So I'm in Atlanta now and here some things are open but most are closed as you can see behind me. So still no lunch for me. I'm on the plane train and there's only one other person in here and usually this is jam packed with people. So yeah, the airport is purely quiet even here in Atlanta at the world's busiest airport. Wow. wow. Is that, yeah, is that was, airport uh, normally packed? Oh, you talking about Atlanta? It's the busiest airport in the world. Yes. Yeah. No, I meant the first one, the one you came. You oh. Came. Oh, oh, Newport News, Williamsburg. I mean, there's normally a decent amount of people. Uh, right. Last flights were canceled, so yeah. I was one of the few that was actually going out that day on Delta. And, but again, with only seven, eight people, you know, on my flight, there was barely anybody. So I actually felt pretty safe. I wore the mask the whole time. Yeah. Um, I wasn't near any people. I wore a mask in the airport as well. And um, I sanitized, I wiped all the seats down and it was yeah. interesting. I that security it, line was ideal though, right? The right, security right. line, <laughs> that's <laughs> right. ideal security situation. <laughs> I was about to say, like I take it, there's no point in having TSA pre-check is like, you know, <laughs> To feel like flashing that is like, uh, sir, I there keep is my no shoes one on. else. You know, the only <laughs> I want to keep my shoes on. Check. I'm not taking my laptop out. I would right. like my I didn't have to do that. So that was good about having pre-check. Um, yeah, but thanks. yeah, you just kind of walk right through. And it was, um, it was, gosh, it was eerie. But I'm glad that Delta and all the other airlines are doing such a good job. Um, I mean, some people still have to travel and get place to place. Mm. But um, yeah. it was kind of cool to do that. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm glad you made it back safe.